Hi everybody, welcome to Designing Gals. I am Doreen from Door Designs, along with Melissa from Burlap Boutique, Lori from Hardworking Mom, and Katie from Crazy Maisie Creations. Every Thursday, we bring you four different designers doing four different designs. Uh, we all have kind of different styles and tastes, uh, but we do wreaths and centerpieces and swags and painting and DIY. You just never know from week to week what different designs we're gonna do. Today, I'm gonna be doing a design on an 18 inch oval grapevine wreath with this kind of a farm style um, welcome sign, patriotic. I thought this would be a good weekend. I'm trying to get it out so the lights don't shine on it. This sign is in my shop. And the, the reason why I say kind of a farm style design, because it kind of looks like uh, burlap or uh, barn wood at the bottom, you know, same thing through here. It's just kind of a softer color. It's not the bright glittery stuff that you a lot of times think of for 4th of July and patriotic. So what I'm gonna do on this design, I actually attached my sign halfway up so you can really see the welcome and stuff good. And I'm gonna do the bow and all the greenery and florals. We're gonna design it basically from the half, half of the sign coming down. So the ribbon I've chosen is gonna be this one. I actually got this one at Sam's, but see how it's got kind of that burlap color in the background? And then I'm gonna pair it with this uh, burgundy taupe and navy stripe, and then the blue and white stars, which will bring out the blue and white stars up here at the top. For the greenery, I'm gonna use this bush, and I got this bush from Jen at Jam Designs. I actually saw Candy do a beautiful wreath with this uh, greenery. So I went online and I think I bought, I don't know, six or so of these. What I like about these is that it's got different colors of green, textures, it's got some white. So when you buy a bush like this, this is really all you need for the design. So this is what I'm gonna pair it with, and I probably won't even use all of this, but it kind of takes away from me having to figure out which greenery that I wanna put uh, uh, together in this design because it's done for me. So once again, these this came from Jen at Jam, J-A-M Designs. Okay, so I've already got this sign attached, and for those of you um, asking me, let me see where I put them, I attach them right here. I attach my signs using cable mounts typically. And I'll show you real quick. And you can buy these at any hardware store on Amazon. And they're just little squares. And they've got the plastic on the back. And then you can kind of see through it. And that's where I put my pipe cleaner or wire. I just feed it through, twist it, and then run it through the grapevine. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the bow first and I'm gonna attach it and then we're gonna kind of fill in around it. Sometimes I'll attach all my greenery first and put my bow on, but on this one, I'm gonna put my bow on first and I'm gonna kind of bring it up just a little bit so it's gonna kind of soften the side here. And I've moved some things around so my glue pot is on the opposite side. So hopefully my back won't be to you as much. I had a few people tell me my back was in the way. Okay, so I'm gonna just do a very simple two loops. And all I'm doing is bringing it straight up, bringing it behind. And this is probably gonna be about six inches. Yep, about six inches, six to seven. So when I bring it back behind, then I'm gonna twist it because you want the pretty ribbon facing you so I'm gonna bring that down and back up. I'm gonna pinch it again. Make sure my loops are even there. And then I'm gonna twist it because I always want the pretty ribbon facing up towards me. Okay, I think I'm gonna do two loops on each side. So I'm just gonna twist it. And I'm gonna pinch it, twist it, bring it down, and bring it back up behind. So there's our first two loops. Kind of looks like a bow tie. 
I'm gonna do the striped ribbon next and then I'm gonna put my stars on top. And I'm basically gonna do the same thing on all three ribbons. Got this one twisted real quick. And a blue and white. And I'm just gonna lay that on top and do the exact same thing. Come out. And I'm going to make this last loop just a little bit shorter so I kind of have a little bit of a layered look. See, now I hate that. That's, that ribbon has came and they have patched that together. So I'm going to start over on that one. it and bring it down bring it back up and twist it again so I'm just kind of rearranging my ribbons a little bit to make sure that I've got exactly how I want it I'm going to use a zip tie. You can use a wire. You can use a pipe cleaner. And then I'm going to take another uh, zip tie behind it. And that's what I'm going to fasten it to the grapevine with. And I'm just going to run this through the grapevine and attach it. Okay, and you've got the bow. And we'll arrange that and cut the tails off once we get all the greenery and stuff. So now I'm gonna start adding some of the greenery. Get the ribbon out of the way. I'm going to use my stem cutter and I got this at Deco Exchange. It helps me because some of these stems, they are way too hard for me to trim. So I'm going to start and I'm going to do some greenery under the bow to give it some fullness and kind of work my way over. And I may put a little bit up on top. So 
So all I'm doing is taking my greenery, putting it in my glue pot, which is my, just an electric skillet with Gorilla Glue. I keep my temperature about 325 to 350. I don't leave my glue pot on all the time. I turn it off when I'm done. I know several of you have asked me that. I don't take the glue out. I just reheat it. And it's just an electric skillet that I got at Walmart years ago. Okay, I'm gonna cut some of my streamers back a little bit, my tails, just so you can kind of see the effect that we're getting with the greenery. Okay, what I want to show you is see how you can kind of see some of the greenery coming through the ribbons, kind of giving it another dimension, nice and full. It also helps your ribbon to kind of stand out and get a little fuller. So we're going to continue that. So I got all of that fullness just on one stem that came out of this large group. So even though sometimes when you look at these online, you may think they're a little pricey or a little bit higher, it's really a lot of times beneficial because I'm only having to buy one bush versus one, two, three, four, or five because of all the different greenery in them. Okay, we're gonna go this one a little shorter. I'm just going to continue to add some greenery. I hope you can see that okay. Okay, I'm starting to take some of the greenery now, coming up the side a little bit, because what I want to do, I want to soften the edgeness of that sign, the bottom part of it. This is a nice grape bun. It's nice and thick and kind of tight. I just got some. Okay, if you wanted, you could stop here and only do greenery. See how nice and full? And I haven't even used, I probably used maybe half of that bush. But I do want to add some color. So I am going to add a little bit of red, I think white, or not maybe as much white, but some blue in here. But for right now, 
that's gorgeous just as is. But let's go ahead, I'm gonna add some geraniums. And this is just a large bush, I'm gonna cut some off. And I got this actually at Randolph Mercantile, which is a local store, but you can find geraniums about anywhere. And you're going to notice, I'm going to leave these kind of sticking out. I'm not pushing them back very far. I really kind of want these to kind of stick out. Okay, I'm gonna add a couple of blue flowers. Okay, what I before I do that, I want you to notice that as I'm designing, I'm getting more weight on this side. So you notice that my actual design is starting to hang this way. So what I'll do is I'll go back and probably move my fastener to where I can have this more centered. And a lot of times when I'm designing without um, doing a training video, I won't put my hanger on until the very end. So I'm gonna add a couple of blue ones. I got these at Hobby Lobby. I don't like the greenery on them. I don't like the leaves, but I do like the flower. I like the color of the blue. Okay, so like for this leaf, I'm gonna take it off because I don't like them at all. to go a little bit shorter. I keep reaching for my glue pot on the other side. I feel like I'm working backwards. Now on this flower here, I'm actually gluing it in between two pieces of ribbon. And I'm going to add a few white.
There it goes. So on designs like this, you can make it as full as you want. Like I said, this was pretty with just the greenery before we even did any florals. I've got a hole right here. I'm gonna actually put some greenery in there. Much better. Okay, let's fix her bow now. This is probably driving you all crazy because it's hanging crooked because it is me. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of color on this end because I'm starting out with a high color here coming through, but it just seems like it kind of stops here, but I want my design to come up a little bit higher. So I think I'm going to add another red. And the reason why I'm hesitant is because that gives me four red and I typically design in odd numbers, but on this one, it might be an even. There. That ribbon was sticking too far out in front and was driving me nuts. Let's see now. Get all these glue strings off. Okay, guys. Nice and full. I may move this over just a little bit. 
So this was done with the one bush like I got from Jennifer at Jam Designs. I didn't add any other greenery, and I did use about the entire bush by the time I got through. And then I added five red geraniums, and I think I have one, two, three, three or four of the blue flowers, and then three pieces of the white, three ribbons, and the sign, and we're done. Nice and fun and full, very patriotic. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And once again, the sign is in my store. And I will list this out on my shop uh, probably later today. I'll take pictures and get this one done. So I hope you've enjoyed this design, this patriotic uh, design. Um, please, if you're not following us, please follow us on Door Designs, Crazy Maisie Creations, Burlap Boutique, and Hardworking Mom. And also for, uh, for those of you who do designs, whether you sell them, you do them for fun, I have a free page called Door Designers Showcase. And that's a free page for you guys to go out and display all of your designs so you can get feedback from other crafters. Uh, you can kind of get different ideas, see what other people are doing, uh, but feel free to go out and join that also. So have a great weekend, and I will see you tomorrow for Fun Day Friday. I think I'm actually going to be doing uh, for tomorrow, this red truck that is my mom's, and I'm going to design it for her for the uh, 4th of July for the pa patriotic. And I'll probably do a lot of the same colors and designs that I've done in this wreath. So anyway, have a great day and take care. Bye-bye.